So you want to learn how to track leads and sales with click magic and Google ads? Well, in this video, I'm going to be teaching you step by step exactly how to get that done. So you definitely want to stick with me all the way through this video so you don't miss anything. Now, my name is Rakeem Madison, and if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Also, tick that bell icon if you want to learn how to build a long, sustainable business that will give you the freedom you deserve. All right, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and jump right into the content. All right, so we are inside of Click Magic. So I'm going to go through the step by step process with you. So just pay very close attention to what I'm showing you here. All right, so let's get into it. The first thing that you're going to do to be able to set up um, this tracking so that you can use this with your Google ads and in some cases your YouTube ads, what you're going to do is you're going to go up here to the little uh, the little wrench um, looking logo up here. We're going to click on that and then we're going to go to website code. All right. Now I'm going to be using click click funnels to show you um, the rest of this process, um, whatever you're using. Um, all you have to do is just follow me and kind of, you know, model based off of what you see here. So this is going to involve code, right? So if you have like if whatever system you're using, it has a website code, right? All you have to do is just go find that code. All right. All right. So now first step is to go right here to where it says click tracking code. And then now we want to hit copy to clipboard okay so read what it says before we move on it says the click tracking code should be added to your landing pages and the conversion tracking code needs to be adding to your goal or thank you pages all right all right so now I'm gonna go over here to click funnels and then right now this is one of the funnels um, I'm gonna use for this video just to kind of show you how things works all right so this right here will be considered the capture page, right? This is the first page that people come to. But inside of ClickFunnels, we're gonna click over here to where it says settings. All right, give it a few seconds. All right, so now where we're gonna put this code that we just copied is right down here to where it says head tracking code. All right, so you can see I already have um, you know, quite a few codes in there. I got my Google tag in there and I also have the Facebook pixel because I was doing, you know, can, you know advertising on multiple different platforms and retargeting so that's why I have multiple tags now what we're gonna do is we're going to go ahead I'm gonna go down here below the Facebook code and I'm going to paste that code that I just grabbed over from click magic okay now what this is doing is this is creating the connection so that click magic instead of you having to go and create multiple tracking links and all this stuff as soon as you connect this you're connecting it to click i mean you're connecting your um your your uh funnel from click ads to google ads hopefully that makes sense all right so at this point i will go down here after i pasted that and then i will hit save and update settings okay so once you do that it's going to bring you back to where the page the initial page but i'm not going to hit save right here all right all right, so now we're going to go back over to steps. So let's just say that we, you know, we hit save and update. I want you to go ahead and hit save and update so you can actually have this stuff updated in whatever system you're using. All right, so the next step is to create a conversion tracking code, all right? So we're going to click the drop down arrow, click on conversion tracking code, and then you can see it says gold type and right now by default it's on action and then you see the ref. So what does that mean? So an action would be Let's say, for instance, somebody comes to my capture page and as soon as they opt in, they come to a bridge page or they come to a sales page. Depends on how your funnel is set up. When they get to that next page, if you want Click Magic to actually track that as a lead or Google to track that as a lead, you're going to have to add a specific piece of code. So in this case, since we want, it, we want Click Magic to track it, we want to go ahead and we can put like a ref in here. And all this is is a reference really for you. Right. So you can you can make sure you're tracking, you know, a specific campaign. So let's say, for instance, I'm promoting a webinar. Right. And it's about teaching people how to make money online. Then you can see I could put something like Webby make money. So now all that is is that's just like a reference so that I know, you know, which campaign this is coming from. So after that, all I'm going to do after it's added it over here, I'm going to copy this to the clipboard. And then the page that I'm going to put this on is the next page so this is the first page I'm gonna go and click on this page right here all right I'm gonna go into that page right I'm gonna hit edit page real quickly and then I'm gonna go up here uh, give me a second 
I'm going to go up here to settings. I'm going to go uh, to, uh, where is it at? Tracking code. And then I'm going to paste it in there. Now you can see I already have, uh, I don't know why it just went back. That's the thing with Mac. Anytime you slide the screen across, it kind of, it just takes you back. But give me a, give me a few seconds. All right, so here we go. So settings and then go back to tracking code. And as you can see, I already have one of them in there, right? That was tracking for the specific campaign, which is the one I just would have created. But this is how you would do it. You would just paste it in here like this and then go like this and then hit save and then it would save it. Remember, you may have a different uh, software. It may work differently. Just make sure that you're saving it. All right, so I added it. Now I'm going to go backwards. Okay. Boom. So that is saved. Now let's say for instance, you're running a campaign where you have, you know, capture page. Um, you have a bridge page where maybe you have you on video introducing yourself, getting people prepared for what's going to happen on the next page. And let's say for instance, that next page is the sales page, right? This is where they're going to make a buying decision or not. Now, if you actually have control of your sales process, then you could actually use this right here where it says gold type. If I go to sale, right, the way that you would be able to track sales is if you had control, full control of your sales process, which means that once they buy, you actually have another page set up. So in that case, what you would do is the exact same thing. You would put this pixel right here, right? And also before we move on, so you want to put the amount that you would make based on you know them making that buying decision so if your product costs a hundred dollars then you will put a hundred dollars if it costs a thousand then you will put a thousand and so it's going to be tracking this because you can see it right here all you're going to do at this point hit copy the clipboard come over here so let's say that this right here was our third page um, i would literally do the exact same thing that i literally just did i would come to edit page i would then go give it a few seconds I would then go here to settings, go to track tracking code. This depend on, depends on which system you're using. Remember that. And then I would just paste the code in there just like that. And boom, I'm done. But in this case, I'm not saving this. I'm just going to back out of it. All right. So let me go over here real quick. Let me show you something. So that's how you would do it. Now, the next step is to go here and then go to URL builder. So whatever website that you're actually using, you want to put that in here like this. I'm just going to use Google for this video, but you will put your website that you're going to be using. So whatever website you had over here, you can see I have this website. I will put the website right in here like this. And then over here, this is where you get into where, what you're going to be tracking. So you can see here, it says the source of traffic. So if we're using Google to advertise, we want to put that in there. And then the medium would be, are we using CPC? Are we using social media, email, whatever you, we're using, we want to put that in here. Now, in this case, we're using CPC. Then the campaign, this goes into whatever it is, right? Like, is it Webby Make Money? What is the, like, what are you presenting? I would just put, like, the name of my offer in there so that way I can track properly. All right? And then here, this is what you're telling, you're telling ClickMagic, okay, I want to track what keywords are generating me the most sales or what keywords are gener generating me the most leads, right? And, and once this data comes back, you'll be able to analyze and then optimize your campaigns, right? So this is why tracking is very crucial um, in your marketing and advertising um, you know, path. All right, so now you can see right here, if I do this little symbol, right? So I'm gonna do the symbol real quick. All right, so here we go. So it's showing me which UTM terms I could use and track. So I can track keyword, I can track keyword and creative, keyword, creative, ad group ID. And usually when I do it, um, um, you know, I'll just go like right here, right? So that way I'll be able to track multiple different things and see, okay, I'm getting more sales or, you know, I'm getting more sales on mobile or I'm getting more sales on like the partner network, right? And so this is crucial. If you're, if you're going to be advertising, you have to be tracking, all right? So the next thing would be if I wanted to track even further. So I would do the same little bracket, and then you can see it says network or device, right? But this is all up to you. If you don't want to track that deep and you just want to keep it simple and do the keyword only so you know, okay, these keywords are making me the most money. I need to focus on those, create a separate campaign, and scale from there, all right? 
So that's how you would do that. And then you would just come down here and you see this, the link, this is the link. It's going to base it off of your website. So you notice it added Google, it added the CPC, it added everything that I put in here. And this is all going to be for tracking. So now you don't have to really use a tracking link. You can literally use one link and that's going to be the link for your particular campaign. So next step is to save and copy the URL. And then now this would be the actual URL you would put in the, uh, when you're setting up your campaigns on Google and, and Bing and other, you know, advertising campaigns like that, they usually have a tracking template. Well, this is going to be the link that you use for the tracking template. So hopefully that part right there makes sense. Now, if you got some value from this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also drop me a comment down below, letting me know if this was helpful or valuable. And if you have, if you aren't yet using any tracking system, maybe you're catching this, you know, you know, you're catching this video and you're trying to figure things out. Um, I left a link down below. It's the first link in the description. That is a um, free 14 day trial uh, for, um, uh, for click magic is definitely a powerful tracking software. All right. So you can check that out uh, down below in the description. And with that being said, I look forward to see you in the next video. Peace.